Hello, everybody. It's Emmy, your friendly neighborhood yogi. I really had this idea that once I hit adulthood, I would just know how to act. Life would be easy. I would reach a plateau of wisdom and just knowing how to act and think and behave without having to think too hard about it. That's not exactly how it happened. As it turns out, throughout my life, I just kept collecting all of these traumas and insecurities that were not necessarily mine, but I learned them and held on to them, even kept them for safekeeping for such a long time that now in adulthood, I see that it is my responsibility to find what no longer serves me and release that every day. And that's a big job. A lot of times we think it might be a mental job. But whatever is in our mental, whether it be our emotional feelings or what we've learned throughout our lifetime lives in our bodies, it lives in the cells. And the more that we practice that connection between our mind and our cells, the more the spirit can unite with our physical body, bringing us into a sense of lightness and ease and giving us a break from chaotic dis-ease. Today's practice was loosely based off of the Ashtanga Sun Salutation B. I say loosely based because I'm an adult. I've been practicing for several years. We're going on a decade and I kept getting distracted today. My dog was a big distraction, and sometimes my body just didn't want to do chaturanga, and I just went straight into downward dog. Is that the flow of the series? No, but it's the flow my body wanted to take today, and so that's what we did. I also went deeper into some of the postures because, again, that's what my body was calling for. So I love to continue to encourage you guys Find one space where you want to start. Allow the breath to expand that vision. Allow the breath to awaken your entire body. Shift into the spaces that feel dead. See if we can wake them up. Those spaces that are speaking to us, maybe even screaming to us, Let's see if we can bring that into just a gentle chatter. What would that be like if we took time to listen to the sensation in our body each day and allowed it to flow through us, giving ourselves permission to take whatever serves us from this practice, whatever we recognize about our parenting skills, our dog raising skills, our body, whatever we notice, we take what serves us, we stay mindful about it, we recognize change does not happen overnight. So, With increased mindfulness, we will find ourselves making small, sustainable daily choices. Maybe that starts with the breath, finding one space or one posture where we can fully inflate our lungs and fully deflate our lungs three to five times. And then just notice where your body wants to move after that. Our breath is an autonomous system. That means if we don't think about it, it's thinking for us. 
And if our breath is caught up in our sympathetic nervous system most of the time, perhaps we're not getting enough oxygen. Perhaps we're definitely not getting enough oxygen to our brain, which is where a lot of our executive function happens. So if we can flip it and reverse it, why not? Hey, don't forget to subscribe. Tap the bell for notifications so that you see all my videos. Those tutorials are coming soon. Take time to love on yourself today.